Most people know me as a waterman, a windsurfer, a surfer, uh, but I've always been a car guy since I was, yeah, old enough and had enough money to buy a car. Uh, my first car ever in 1981 was a Dodge Charger. Um, I love cars, a bit of a motorhead, just the whole culture of cars. Uh, not necessarily driving them a lot, but just, you know, I like the shape and the feel and detailing. I never leave anything stock. The first thing I do when I get a car is start changing things on it. Um, so a bit of a motorhead. I'm not out to kill the planet. I figure I'm doing the world a favor by buying and collecting these old cars and keeping other people from driving them a lot. Um, keeping a bit of automotive history alive as well. Most of these things end up in the crusher long ago. So, you know, trying to do my part to keep car culture going. Um, but yeah, I've got a really weird collection of cars. There's no rhyme or reason about it. More like a kid's set of uh, Hot Wheels than anything. Um, so, yeah. So this is my 1949 Studebaker 2R5 pickup truck. It's got a 383 Chrysler big block, uh, Chrysler running gear, uh, B&M shifter. It's pretty fun. It's not super fast, but it's low and loud and it's a fun, uh, fun driver. Classic split window. And um, again, yeah, a lot of people don't even know what a Studebaker is these days. People that aren't even kids come up to me, what's a Studebaker? It's pretty funny. Like, yeah, it was a car company back in the day. So, most of my cars on the mainland usually online I actually bought this from a dealer in Colorado that I bought a couple of cars from I had a 58 Chevy Biscayne for a while uh, and then I sold that when I got the 49 Studebaker so this came from Colorado that was originally an Arizona car good place to buy old cars from because they don't salt the roads no salt in the air so original body no rust for the most part when I got it pretty straight I don't spend a lot of money on cars. So I have cars that look cool, they're fun to drive, but they don't cost a whole lot. I mean, that's important to me too. Um, people that know me know that I'm super tight and you know, I, I don't wanna spend a lot of money, but I wanna have fun, cool stuff. So I can usually find things for a pretty good deal and then do work on them myself, get them up to how I want them to look and, and drive. Nothing too major, but I can do all the minor stuff myself. So I like to do a lot of stuff on my own. Usually it's just little detail things, you know, like changing out lights and exhaust and you know minor engine parts. I'm not going to do a full engine breakdown. I'm not going to pull a motor and change the tranny and change gears and that kind of stuff. I know my limitations and especially my time. 
uh, limitations. But it's kind of uh, a cool opposite to being in the waves and the wind all the time to have a, a hobby that's like really different. You know, getting out into the garage at night and just tinkering with things. And I spend a lot of time cleaning, you know, putting them back, drive it once, get it dirty, <laughs> clean it again. Um, and I'm not a poser. I'm not driving around in town with my cars and stuff. I've got blacked out windows on every car. Um, it's like a personal thing. I'm not out there going, hey, look at me. Um, I just like cars, even though most of the time they're just locked up in my garage. Um, I just enjoy them again, the whole touch and feel and smell and sound and yeah, I like cars. Sorry.